What's up guys, Lothric Paladin here. Welcome to another episode of my Elden Ring Weapons Showcase. As you know from the title and thumbnail, today I'm using the Sacred Butchering Knife. The way my Weapons Showcase series works is we'll take a weapon, in this instance it's the Butchering Knife, and we'll try to do our best to showcase its moveset, Ash of War if it has a unique one, and its strengths and weaknesses in a series of 10 duels. Now these 10 duels are win or lose. That means I won't edit out any losses, no matter how embarrassing they may be. And if I lose all 10 duels, then that's just how it's going to be. Now the Butchering Knife, I believe is classified as a Great Axe, that is correct. So it's got some big vertical slams, very slow, very easy for people to dodge. Um, the Running R1 is a, another vertical slam, Un again, slow, easy for people to dodge. Running R2, it is much like the Great Sword Running R2, except there's a lot of... Um, recovery time on that. When I try to roll out of this, it takes forever. That is me spamming the button. Jumping R2, big slam, gets the cool uh, big chop very quick. So the follow-up is a lot slower, but the uh, just the single R2, very quick, but it has very little range, so it has to be used in a trade. Maybe even in a bait as an R1, like uh, R1 bait. Oh, I missed! Chop! <laughs> this uh, weapon does not have a unique Ash of War to it, so what I have done since I am on my faith, uh, Dex Faith build, I have put the Ash of War as Golden Land. So, what that does is it slams your weapon into the ground, creates a big AoE holy explosion, and um, also sends all these little guys out. Uh, when you're targeting someone, all of those will fly at them. Um, so it's pretty cool. Uh, highly damaging if you can land all three hits. However, I have found in testing that if they get hit by the first hit there, they can roll out and escape. Um, also, if they just run to the side while those little little shooters are going out, they, they'll avoid all of them. Now onto the build. We are rocking 60 Vigor, 26 Endurance, 15 Strength, 30 Dexterity, and 42 Faith. This is my Dex Faith build. As far as our equipment goes, we are rocking the Sacred Butchering Knife plus 24, gets D scaling in dex and C in faith, with a negligible E in strength, which is why I'm running it on my dex faith build. That gives us an AR of 668. As far as our armor goes, I'm rocking the Black Wolf Mask, Banished Knight Armor, Veteran's Gauntlets, and Veteran's Greaves. Now, while I like this fashion, it is also quite practical for... Uh, poise and defense. Currently our poise is at 66. Now because of that I don't actually need the bull goat's talisman which is what I usually use with my fashion um, because usually my fashion has very low poise. So instead we're using the dragon crest great shield talisman. So the reason I have put that on is because we're using a great axe and with the slow moveset and high hyper armor that we have I'm going to be taking a lot of trades, so I'm trying to reduce some of the damage that I'll be taking in those trades. Along with that, we have the Shard of Alexander to greatly boost the attack power of the Golden Land skill. The Crimson Amber Medallion plus 2 to vastly raise my maximum HP. HP is at 2134. And Erd Tree's Favor plus 2, which raises my maximum HP, Stamina, and Equip Load. Now on to the PvP. For our first duel of the day, we have Wendy's Friday 11. They're rocking the Dark Moon Greatsword and Sorceries. Okay. Got a good roll catch there. They really want to hit me with that uh, spell, which I think is pretty goofy. Let's try to finish him off with this. He knows to run to the side of it. But he messed up a little bit. He got the unfortunate animation when he turned around. Good fight, Wendy's Friday. For our second duel, we have Pix7327. Hey. Fought this guy during testing, and he kicked my ass. Black Flames Protection, Bestial Vitality, and a Physic. Let me uh, go ahead and get a third buff, huh? Okay. Good. We are ready to go. So yeah, he was able to flawless me. He hit, or didn't even uh, get hit by me at all last time. So he's using dual coated swords and the tree sentinel gear. Boom! So this is what I was talking about with the uh, Ash of War. If they get hit with the first one, they could actually just roll out. Which is pretty crazy. Jumping R1 into R2. Nope. 
I thought he would come in for the trade. He's getting really, um, really cautious now. But look at all the damage he does. He has to have like 70 faith or something incredibly high. Okay, he popped my bubble tier. That's actually fine. Hit by the explosion. No! He didn't get hit by the explosion. Oh, good for him. He's good at spacing and uh, predicting what I'm going to do. Good fight, picks. For our third duel, we have Ramen Inc. Rocking the Colossal Crouch Poke Sword and Veteran's Armor. Oh, good hit there. I wasn't paying attention to what he was doing. Let's see if he'll trade into this. Nope. He didn't. Very good. Watch out for poke. Maybe he's not going for pokes. Definitely going for trades, though. Chop! Chop! Damn. I really want to land the, the butchering chop on somebody. I think this is the guy to do it, because he's not going for the Colossal Sword pokes. Yes! Good fight, brother. Ramen Inc., everybody. A colossal greatsword user who did not crouch poke. Fucking praise the shit out of him, please. He is a god. For our fourth duel, we have Laughing Lich. Laughing Lich is using a kite shield and Marika's hammer. Very cool. Gotta watch out for that Ash of War. If they do more than one, I'll get the, uh, yeah, okay. All right, now we both have Golden Vow. And our flask. Let's go. Hoo -ah, big chop! I'll trade that! Oh, I have a great axe! Oh! Oh! Beautiful backstab! I misrolled that very badly. Okay, I didn't do it that time. Thank goodness. Here, I have one too. None of those hit him, unfortunately. The first, uh, the ones from the first one did. Take that trade. Oof. I was out of stamina there. Barely got the recovery time down. Here. Ugh. Let's just run up at him, see what he does. Oh. Not cool. Not cool at all. Okay. He's gonna get me with the laser. Yep. Ah, uh, that's the issue with these weapon showcases, is that other people can use finishers and I can't. Man, I was drinking my water there. Otter Pog Champ. Double, oh boy, double sorcery. Okay, so they're using the, um, I think that's the Karian Queen Scepter or whatever. Here, walk into your magic place now. Terra Magica. Watch out for that. Right. Gotta be careful here. Gotta be very careful. They're going for Terra Magica, I'd imagine. Ooh, thanks for that. Wham! Oh shit, he got the heal. Oh, it wasn't enough. <laughs> Good fight, dude. I'm not sure why you were blocking with your scepter. <laughs> anyway, what that guy was doing there is he, he had two staves for a reason. The uh, crystal one that was on his hip increases your your cast speed, and the other one just increases moon sorceries, I believe. But it's also like the most powerful scepter past uh, 60 intelligence. All right, our sixth duel has Earnhardt Joni. He is using full veteran's armor. 
Plus, I'm not sure what those spears are, but I know they come from the puppet people. Are you gonna get a, um, a thing? A flask? Okay. Well, I know that these things in inflict a lot of bleed. Watch out for that. There we go. Got a good hit. Chomp! I got endurance, brother. Here, have some of this. <laughs> good fight, dude. Not a lot of people see Golden Land, so they, they don't know what it does. Which is weird, because if you fight any of the Erd Tree avatars, um, you'll know it. Anyway, good fight, Earnhardt Juni. For our seventh duel, we have Kiosta, 270. Full Karian Knight armor with the Dark Moon Greatsword. And some sorceries. Probably a Strength Intelligence build. Stars of Ruin. Oh, fully charged R2 there. Lot of, um... Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, shit. Sometimes that happens, man. Sometimes that happens. For our ninth battle... Sorry. For our eighth battle, we have Shiroken. He's using Prophet stuff. Oh. Very interesting. Uh, Nagakiba. All right, he's gonna try and run that. Ooh, he went for the unsheath. Very cool. Do it again. Wah! I'm in range. Do it. Wah! Wah! Oh, I missed. Okay. Well, don't snap at me. He's got a little bit of latency here. Here, let's go for one of these. Good fight, brother. I think he would have killed me outright if he didn't bomb himself. For our ninth duel, we have Pix again. Pix, uh, Pix's sign was the only one on the ground, so that's why he got summoned. Takes me a while to get three buffs because I don't have much F FP. This guy has to be 150, I, I feel. Ow. I love that I still got hit by that, bro. Get hit by the explosion. No! How does he not get hit by the explosion? There's so much... T I guess there's just enough time to... Uh one, two. It's incredible that he has enough time to do a, uh, a jumping light, or a jumping L1, sorry. Ow, ow. That, that guy does incredible damage. Hard to fight him. Very hard to fight him. At least with a slow weapon like this. For our final battle, we have Marsec96. This guy is kind of hard to fight. Uh, he was doing, I think it was Unendurable Frenzy. And he had, like, enough FP to just cast it forever, so it was pretty annoying to fight, to say the least. Okay, let's do this from long range. I'll just chomp on him. Got him. Good fight. So yeah, he, he did, um, I think it's Endure to raise his poise super high, and then he just tries to cast that at you. If you just R1 spam in his face, though, with a big-ass weapon like that, it'll, it'll stun him eventually. And that is all the battles I have for you for today. If you liked what you saw, please consider giving the video a like, and subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching, and take care.